Hello, men, women, and our sorrows, and welcome back to Let's Play Pikmin when last so we were able to grab two parts, you know, going down the literally the wire, and our ship looking a little more ship-like. This episode we're heading back and we've got some more areas that need to be cleaned out. And it's something that calls for our army in blue. I should have said our boys in blue. Oh. Might actually be able to grab two parts today. Depends. But anywho, no screwing around today. We're going for the completely unwieldy amount of 100 Pikmin. There's a lot of leaves and buds. Got nectar. Swarm it! Really? You three couldn't share? Wow. Well, sharing is caring. Okay, well those guys can pick that. These guys can pick this. There's this guy you want to deal with. A blowhog! Get on my level! Okay, we somehow glitched this guy on the wall, and he didn't lift off. Exploit! Right. Continue to gather our resources. Some more flower power. Right, everyone keep up. Now, nectar for all! Knock that wall down at some point. I don't think we'll need to do it for the day, though. Yeah, got more flowers. All right. Okay, I don't need seven on this. Let's get focus on carrying these things back. Alright, and now, Amphibious Warfare! Yeah, these guys can take down multiple Pikmin at once, but a swarm like that doesn't really matter. Start carrying this stuff back. Spoils of War. safe path today. Practice safe pathing, and you can see we got another part up there that looks remarkably similar to a part we grabbed a, some time ago. Or anything in this direction. Not a reverse. We might go that way. Maybe not. See, I think we need 15, so I'll throw 20 up here or so. guys can get thrown over here. Another part in our collection. This is our second Ionium Jet. So basically the same thing as the thing we found in the fourth needle, but for the other side. It's easy on the eyes and its fuel efficiency is easy on the budget. Yay. That's going to annoy me. I'm just going to whistle you guys back and throw 15 on you. go. This next part is actually a little tricky. Our part's up there, and uh, it's 
actually pretty high, so what we need to do is first we need to throw all of our equipment up there. And this is the only, only time we actually use these candy buff buds that we see here. We need to turn all of these Pikmin into yellow Pikmin. You see when we do that they turn into sprouts in the color which we, we made. All of our Pikmin thrown in, we begin plucking. There we go, you need to whack it a few times. And now what we need to do, is we need to throw our Pikmin safely to the other side. Now let's pluck this last group. And cutscene is our Ionian Drive reached base. And now we have Cemetery! Haha! -ha! Add to these jet boosts that with action miles it's easy on the family budget. This jet will keep your wife smiling and propel you to a happy home life. Okay, and three more. We should have expanded capabilities. Alright. Fill the rest of these Pikmin over. Boom shakalaka. Now up here lies our next part, which of course is a little too high for our other Pikmin to get up there, so... Throw them up here. And they bring it down when this is our... Kronos Reactor! Using strange new technology, this machine is able to warp the space-time continuum and turn into energy. I am constantly amazed at how many mysteries are locked away inside the parts of my ship, and so many risks. But... As you might notice, no land route, so... It's once again time to turn these guys back into blues! Back to our boys, boys in blue. Or boys and girls in blue. Who knows? Okay. Let's hold them back. I wonder how they feel about this. Okay, and we got our full blue squad ready to go. Let's pluck them all again. Sadly, they have all turned into leaves once more, but this is a sacrifice we must make. This will play the head back to the onion. Guys can get started on moving that back. I pluck the rest of these guys. All right, there we go. Right, you guys can help move this. Or not? Yes, I know. Okay, all of our remaining Pikmin are carrying that, so let's head back, and we have a third part today. That's two part... Potentially. I don't think we'll be able to grab the second part today, but we should be able to grab the last two... Oh, well, this thing respawns. Interesting. But we should be able to clear most of the way to the last two parts, so next episode, we should be able to 100% this area, which means... 
next recording session should be our last. It's a thud. Okay, first things first, fuck all of you guys. Come with me. base eventually. Oh. Greed. Okay, we got a couple of Wallywogs need to deal with. Using our patent pin strategy. Okay, first we interrupted. Let me get this part back. It looks like it clips through the engine, perhaps it's shielding. This reactor changes perm munitions in the, s in, the s in the space I'm continuing big energy. Basically, I can't speak today. Or banned. Up. Dang, apparently we lost another Pikmin again. Don't know how many they get thrown away too far, or they get crushed under the mini stomps, but eh. Now you guys can grab that. We can actually knock this down. So why not? That frog is like, come at me, bro. I will deal with you tomorrow. Potentially. Yeah, I'll, I'll focus on knocking that down first. Open up a shortcut. Or at least another access route. That is. Okay. Back up to 100 Pikmin on the field, at least. Come on, Pikmin, sprout! Sprout! The thing I don't like about this game is the only game when they got to delay on the Pikmin sprouting. Again, more realistic, but again, also more annoying. Not as annoying as the flopping on your face part, though. Alright, let's hit the other side and help knock that wall down. Didn't make a Trump joke, but I'm pretty sure I hit my quota for that a while ago. This wall's actually going down pretty fast. Ah! You! You! wailing on that. Okay, the wall is down. Fortunately, I don't think we'll have the time or pace to deal with that Wally Wog, so let's just head right back to base. Not leaving him behind? No? Good. Accomplished some good stuff today. Next episode, we should be able to fully clean this area out. The only, the only thing that really is in between us is that one Wally Wall. Wa wally Wall? I tried to try and wall and wally wog. Wally wog, a wall, and potentially something else. I'm not sure on the. I didn't scout out the last part, but. The most part is straight clear, assuming nothing respawns and gives us a hard time. And we can probably scout that out right now, unless we bring on this Tickman bag. Alright, back into the onion with all of you. Now, late night scouting mission. Wall blocking that part over there. Wally Wong here. And then for our final part. Which 
actually is this thing right here? Yep, nothing here. So just this Wally Wog on a wall. Sounds like a shit and sixty sick kind. Wally Wog in the wall. So yeah, next episode we should be able to one hundred percent the distant spring at long last. Is this area taking the longest out of the bunch? I'm not sure. Anywho. We're almost done, as I said. Next recording session should be the final one, because it should only need two days to get the last part. Anywho. Journal entry. 19 days since impact. Sure, Gub, today I've learned something about all well, these creatures' behavioral patterns. They are very vexing bugs. They chew apart bridges that the Pikmin build. All the effort the poor Pikmin went to must watch these pests. He's not ready. Lost four, grew 64. That's a overall profit. And our ship is really getting close to completion. In the next episode, we should head back to Distant Spring and cut 100% that area. But until then, we're going to explain it, controller, and have a good time. Peace out, peoples.